Hello, beautiful. I am excited to share with you something that I have been playing with for a while now and uh, that has been on the planet for a long time now as well, astrocartography. And part of the reason why I'm feeling more energized and excited to share this with you is because of where I'm currently located on the planet, which is on my Jupiter, uh, my Jupiter line. And I'm going to talk about what that means. So beyond just your astrological chart, right, your birth chart, the moment that you were born, the planets were at a certain location around the Earth. And that's how we get your astral wheel. Well, each planet is an energetic body. And just as there are grid lines on the Earth, and if you're curious as to what a grid line is, go check out the rest of my page because there are videos on the grid lines of the Earth. And I won't go into those details now. That said, each planetary body sends an energy across the Earth, de dependent on where it was around the Earth when you were born. And each of those energetic lines that cross over the Earth creates a grid. And when, say, Jupiter crosses the planet on a certain line, anywhere along that line on the planet that you go, you have the energy of Jupiter supporting you. So I want to show you in this video how to freely find out your astrocartography. It can be a lot of fun to see why you're called to certain places on the planet. If you've ever had this feeling like, oh man, I really need to go to Scotland or I really need to go to Amsterdam or Bali or Toronto or Alaska there's something there for me, then using your astrocartography can actually be a fun way of exploring why it is you're being called to these places. And this is something that I've been utilizing in the last three years of traveling full time is my astrocartography and seeing, well, why am I so drawn to this place? What's energetically happening for me here? And there are also ways of finding where the best places for you to to create your business, to raise a family, to find a lover, to have deep spiritual healing and revealing, all of these things you can find through your astrocartography. So like I said, I'm currently on my Jupiter line, which is a great place to expand your business, to connect with people, to grow in every possible way. And since coming back to my Jupiter line in which happens to go through uh, the Asheville area of North Carolina, which is one of my favorite places on the planet. And you'll see that likely your Jupiter lines are some of your favorite places on the planet because Jupiter is an energy that supports us. It's very benevolent and loving and expansive and optimistic. So going to those spaces on the planet usually feel very good. And I also happen to to be born underneath my Jupiter line. So my home on the planet where my family lives is also a Jupiter line. So it's also a place that I can go and expand my business and be very creative and be very flowing. So I go into Jupiter lines on the planet when I'm in moments of wanting to expand in some way. And currently right now I'm creating a lot of courses, a lot of programs. So I come to a space that I'm energetically activated and just channeling through all this creative energy. So I want to share with you how you can find out your astrocartography and all these different points freely. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to go to astro.com. Let's allow it a moment to load here. And you're going to go into free horoscopes. And you're going to go into interactive horoscopes. Taking another moment to load here. All right. And you're going to go to Astro Click Travel. Okay, so my birthday information is already in there. That said, if you've never used astro.com before, just go ahead and add yourself in there, add in your birth data. And then you have options. So if you want to see the whole map, go to scalable Google Maps. And we'll just go check that out for a second just so you can see the overall image. While this loads here. So 
highly recommend in the beginning, if this is your first time playing around with this and you go to scalable Google Maps, that you do not click harmonious or disharmonious aspects because it's just going to really double up, and I'll show you here, double up the amount of lines that you're seeing. And it can then be almost too overwhelming and you just stop yourself from going into it. So we're gonna unclick those. We want just your natal grid, right? Your, your natal core grid to play with. And we're gonna just zoom this so you can see the whole map. And as you see the whole map, I just wanna show it to you from this perspective. We will zoom in what you're looking at, how this, and this is actually the earth twice. As I zoomed in a little too much there. There we go. So you see how you have the planets and how they make these energetic lines across the planet. And then you'll see certain points that have little dots and those little dots are vortexes of energy for you to plug into. And then the big red dot is where you were born, right? So this is my birth space. So you can use the scalable Google map and zoom all the way into a continent if you choose. Or you can go and select the continents or select the world, right? So let's just go to North America. The best thing about this Astro Click Travel is because most of you are going to be thinking to yourself, well, I don't know how to interpret this because I'm not an astrologist. So how the heck am I supposed to know? And the amazing thing that I love about Astro.com is that it gives you a basic understanding so you can understand the energy there. So like I said, uh, I'm under my Jupiter line right now here in uh, Brevard, North Carolina. So I'm just going to click on this line and the moment you click on the line you'll see over here on the right hand side of the screen that it gives you information about what's energetically happening there's hardly a better place than a jupiter ds line for dealing with all people right so it gives you insight let's go here to uh let's say this mars line up here in alaska click on that it's going to give you energy so this is going to be a place on the planet that can lead to controversies at home and with my family. There's unrest in tension. Hmm. Do I really want to consciously choose to go to a place on the planet that's going to lead to controversies with my family and friends? Maybe if I'm doing really deep inner shadow healing work. That said, if I'm not in a space of wanting to do that, maybe that's not a place that I want to go and consciously choose to journey to. Say I'm feeling this really strong call to some place in Europe, right? So we can go look at Europe. We can see all of these different lines going through Europe. And maybe I'm feeling, or maybe I'm feeling, let's, let's look at this. One. Maybe I'm feeling like I really want to be in a space to write. And I'm wanting to publish a book, create a book. I'm gonna look for my Mercury line. Well, let's go look at the whole world. So there's one place for my Mercury line. Let's go look at the whole world. And you see Mercury, planet Mercury, planet of communication is green. So I'm gonna to look to find all of those green lines on the map, because those are all gonna be places that I get to engage with the Mercury energy most effectively. So let's see here in the UK is one of those places and click on that line. And it's communication is most important here. Searching for new knowledge, thinking, language, dexterity improves, business is clear, analytical thinking, right? All of these great aspects that will be a supportive energy to be in whilst I'm wanting to write or create. So 
you don't need to know anything about astrology in order to utilize your astro cartography, especially if you are feeling a call to travel, especially if you are wanting to pick up certain codes. Say you're wanting to go really deep into your spiritual process, then finding your Neptune points on the planet can be very auspicious places for you to be. So we would then just look for the symbol for Neptune, a little purple guy up here. And let's say, let's go to one of these circle spots. So this would be up here in Russia. And I've got a lot of really activated energy up here in the northern parts of Russia. So the circle points are going to be vortexes, like I said, really potent energy there. Oh, it's also showing because right here, there's also a cross. So it's going to show the crossing of the Neptune descending and the Neptune um, midheaven lines are going to be crossing here at this point. And it's going to be uh, give you a little information about that cross. So let's just get some insight on, on Neptune here. So you strive for higher spiritual ideas. You're interested in mysticism and spirituality. You might even become involved with religion, guru, ideology, right? So say I'm wanting to go and have a little spiritual retreat for myself. Finding places on the planet, again, here in the U.S., I can go, you know, zoom this in. Looks like Minneapolis. I can go to right here uh, between Winnipeg, Thunder Bay. I can go all the way up north. I can go down into Mexico. So there are many different places I can go over here into Africa. That said, each different line, so you have your midheaven, you're descending, you have your uh, IC, which is your inner coil, you have your ascending, you have all these different lines of energy. And each one's going to represent something different. Your ascending, as you know, is your personality, yourself, how you put yourself out into the world. So it's going to be things that are more personal oriented, more self-development oriented. Your descending is your connections with others. So in this Jupiter line, my connections with others really thrive on that Jupiter line. Your midheaven, your MC line is going to be that space that's very much about your work, your career, your business. So along those lines are going to be focused on either activating and expanding your business or maybe doing some deeper inner cleansing and healing of it. Maybe places that are going to be challenging for your business to thrive. So if you are in a place where you've been really stuck and really stagnant in your energy, go check out what energetic lines are right near that space and get clear as to what's happening there energetically for you. And this can be great um, motivation to move potentially or to shift up your environment to go on a vacation to start following that voice inside you that says hey go here go there because there's something there for you and this map can help to really guide you towards what it is why you're feeling such a strong pull so I felt very inspired to share this map with you because it's a free resource that also helps you to, to know yourself a little bit more and to understand this call that you're feeling deep within. So as I sit here on my Jupiter line for the next two, three months, you're probably going to get a lot of content from me because it's a space that I expand and that I share more in. And maybe after leaving this Jupiter line, I'm going to go to a space where I'm more deeply turned inward to kind of rest and recover and restore. And because I live nomadically, I have the delight of being able to do that. That said, even if you don't live nomadically, understanding what the energy is around your home can be very valuable and around your area in general so that you can start to plug into certain grids and to understand more about yourself. Because what is this all about? It's about knowing yourself more deeply so that you can become impeccable, so that you can have an amazing experience here. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you utilize it. And if you like this video and you find it inf informative, please like it, please share it, and make sure while you're here, you subscribe. Much love to you all. Bye.